Let's talk about this whole Tucker Carlson situation with his writer, Blake Neff, uh, being fired for his insanely racist and sexist comments that were uncovered on an online message board and Tucker's words about it all. Because that's really what I'm focus. What I want to focus on is, is, you know, this guy Blake Neff is gone. He's fired. You know, he really isn't of much relevance anymore. Uh, but what he was doing for years since 2017 was writing for the number one watched uh, news show in in the country. And I want to really pay close attention to what Tucker said about his firing. So let's take a look. This is a New York Times article. This is what Tucker Carlson said, quote, what Blake wrote anonymously was wrong. The host, the host told viewers, we won't, we don't endorse those words. They have no connection to the show. It is wrong to attack people for inequalities they cannot control. He also described Mr. Neff as horrified and ashamed for the rele- revelation of, of his online writings, which were first reported by CNN. Mr. Carlson, who has used his platform to denounce so-called cancer culture, that he has st- stymies free speech up appended a somewhat defiant note. He said that Mr. Neff has paid a very heavy price for his behavior. But we should also point out to the ghouls now beating their chests in triumph at the destruction of a young man that self-righteousness also has its cost. We are all human, Mr. Carlson continued. When we pretend we are holy, we are lying. When we pose as blameless in order to hurt other people, we are committing the gravest sin of all, and we will be punished for it. There's no question. So let's just take uh, a little bit about what Tucker said. He obviously comes on and denounces what he says, what what Blake said. He has to, right? Tucker has to do that. I mean, there's some things that even he has to do in the face of something this egregious and this awful. But I really want to pay attention to he what he calls the ghouls now beating their chest in triumph. Um, and it, and it, this makes a lot of sense from what the one of the last videos I just released on cancel culture. Not all cancel culture is bad, right? And it's not and it's not it's not that's a new thing. People have been being canceled for things that they've said or done for a long long time. And in this instance, this guy being fired, I wouldn't really consider that being canceled. He's fired. We've all been fired before. I'm sure many of us have. And when you do things that are not in line with your place of work, you're going to get fired. Okay. I wouldn't consider this. If you want, if you want to just, you want to use a synonym instead of fire and you want to call it canceled. Sure. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, whatever whatever uh, helps you sleep at night. The the guy was fired because what he wrote consistently and recently, as much as like a week ago, was insanely racist. Like, just so far beyond the pale. We'll get to what he wrote here in a second. But, so yeah, Tucker, the people people beating their chest in triumph, these aren't aren't ghouls, okay? These are just decent people who, who want to live in a polite society and don't want racist jerk offs writing for the number one news political show in the country. I don't understand how you can't understand that. It's not like this guy worked at your local Applebee's and was a line cook. He was the writer for Tucker Carlson show for three years. And he has, and he said things before, like him and Tucker see eye to eye on many of these things. And is it any coincidence that it's come to light that Tucker's writer, his top writer is a raging racist. Is anyone shocked by that? Anyone? If you are, please let me know. Reach out to me, comment, tweet at me, whatever you got to do. If you're shocked by this, please, I want to hear. Let's let's try to look at some of the stuff he actually wrote. So here, this is on CNN. They published some of the stuff he actually wrote on this message board. Um, just this week, Blake Neff 
responded to a thread started by another user. Quote, would you let a jet black Congo do LASIK eye surgery on you for 50% off? Neff wrote, I wouldn't get LASIK from an Asian for free, so no. What? The subject line was not censured for the form. On June 5th, Neff wrote, Black dude staying inside playing Call of Duty is probably the biggest fact, one of the biggest factors keeping crime down. On June 24th, Neff commented, Honestly, given how tired black people always claim to be, maybe the real crisis, crisis is a lack of sleep. So this is the guy who's writing for the past three years for Tucker Carlson's show. Been quoted as saying that him and Tucker see eye to eye on many things. Tucker, all of a sudden, is taking a planned vacation. This is a this is just a a storm that even he knows he really can't weather. So the best thing to do is just to kind of disappear for a little bit and lay low and let it blow over because we know it will because this is the era of Trump and some other outrageous, insane thing will happen. And, you know, this will be forgotten in a couple of weeks. But it's I don't think it's any coincidence that Tucker's shows have espoused what they've espoused for as long as they have. And, and then this it comes to light that his top writer is saying these things on a form and he's been saying these things on a form f- consistently for years and as recent as like last week. So again, no one should be shocked. It's just par for the course. If you ask me, it's terrible. He should be fired. If you want to call that canceling, sure, whatever, call it canceling. He should be fired again. It's, he's not, you know, he's not some, somebody bagging your groceries at Walmart. He is in a position where he can actually change public opinion with his insane, odious views because he's writing for the number one news show in the entire country. And we know that Tucker has a lot of influence. And we know that these words are obviously some of the same things that Tucker has said, just dressed up, toned down. It's a terrible look for Tucker, though, for sure. I'm not sure how bad it's going to get for him, but again, it's very, uh, it's a very huge coincidence that the man has taken a, a hiatus at this moment. So again, appreciate if you've made it this far. Like, comment, share, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thanks for watching.